Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome. It's Justine here from House of Mahalo and we're going to do the first Junk Journal Bingo video today. Um, so this is a challenge that we're running in the Facebook group. It is linked down below if you'd like to come and have a go and, and take part and get involved. Um, so I thought I would do my Junk Journal Bingo on video. So once per week we're going to come on and see what we can get ticked off. Um, and today we're going to do the first one which is make a collage master board. Nice and easy just to kick things off. So um, I'm going to be making mine in my secret garden theme. This is a project I haven't officially started yet, um, but I am, and it's a project I'm working on next year in the spring, but I want to get a lot of work done now in the run up to it. So it's gonna be a secret garden theme and my ideas for my master board are to use up um, a couple of sheets of my scrapbooking paper where I really love one side of it but not so much the other side. So we're going to collage on the bit that we don't like. Um, so I've got this one as well. I love the pink and the white flowers but that green is a little bit sickly <laughs> in my opinion. So we're going to collage on the green side. So. My thoughts for the, the master board is to do that and we're going to do it in neutral tones and bring in some of the, you know, pink and florals and things. And when we come to do the next part, it will be to use the collage master board, which is on the junk journal bingo here. Make something with your master board. Um, and I'm going to be using this, possibly this window or at least a window or a door or a gate. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. You'll have to wait and see for the next part. But for now, we're all about collaging today. So I have got my pink and my floral, like pretty scraps, all neatly organized. Um, I organized all my scraps, as you'll know, in the uh, Sort It Out Saturday challenge. And I've also got this nice great big bag of uh, neutral scraps. Um, so we're gonna use those. I've got my glue book to the side of me. I'm using my Uhu stick um, and my scissors and my tear ruler and my candle <laughs> and this is because I am I'm filming these videos ahead I'm filming them whilst the UK is currently going through a heat wave and I'm lighting this candle partly for me because I really need to de-stress today and um, which is why we're going with something nice and easy and also with the candle on but this candle is also for anyone else who needs it if you are in a period of your life or you're just having a day or having a week where you need positive vibes, good thoughts, love, support, encouragement and to de-stress, this is for you as well. So I've got that to the side of me, um, hopefully it's out of the way, but um, yeah, I, I really need it today and um, I, think, um, I think a few of you out there might also be the same. So I'm just trying to figure out which way this paper's supposed to go. I think it's that way around. But we're going to do the terracotta one first. So let me just um, put them out of the way. I'm going to do them in neutral um, with a little bit of the, the colours. But um, yeah. So I've got the glue book off to one side. It's like way at the end of my desk. Um, just because I have got a lot of stuff on my desk. <laughs> Uh, to do this project because the scrapbook paper is quite quite large so I thought um yeah if I put the glue book over here it does mean me stretching over but at least then you can see the um the important bits okay so here we go so yeah as I say I really need this today um as I say I'm filming this and the UK is going through um quite an extraordinary heat wave fires happening in London all sorts going on um, and because of the heat wave both of my websites <laughs> both of my blogs have gone offline um, which you know for those of you who know me that is like that's my that's my income that's that's my work and um, I'm very very fortunate and privileged and I know that that I can come on here and you know be able to to do this um, you know, in order to de-stress, so that's that. I just thought I would get that out of the way because if I do seem a little bit frazzled or um, 
not quite myself or a little bit emotional then yeah that's what I've got going on at the moment I know you know many of you don't like to hear about the, the negative side and I try to avoid talking about it as much as possible because there's enough negativity out there um, but I just wanted to quickly get that out of the way so that um, you're not surprised if I do seem a bit a little bit yeah not myself really is what I'm trying to say so that's enough about that I'm not going to dwell on it because there's nothing I can do about it so we are just going to have fun with a bit of collage um, and I suppose what I can do is talk to you a little bit about my secret garden project so um, I haven't done the official like intro to the project yet or anything um, that will come you know when we actually start to, to do to do things properly um, but basically my idea for it is I want to I want this to be my big project of the new year uh, probably starting in either February or March and I want it to be a project where not only do I work on a couple of journals that I've part started I think it's three fabric journals that would fit this theme um, all all part started um, I've also wanting to do some altered file folders and some folios and yeah a whole heap of things basically so what I'm looking to do is uh, make the ephemera for quite a long time beforehand so when I come to do the journals and the folios and, and what have you my thoughts are all the ephemera should be like well and truly made um, and yeah it's just a case of getting everything put together um, I'm also going to be starting uh, Tina's Mass Makes that's Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah um, to do the ephemera um, obviously I'll be doing my own things as well um, which you'll see yeah you'll see over the coming months um, but I really want to get a good amount of ephemera made. And I struggle with ideas sometimes. So what I'm thinking is if I do the mass makes, which I've never done before, it's not normally how I do things, then I'm just hoping that it will be a good way for me to learn and improve type thing. So that's kind of what I'm, what I'm thinking. Um, because yeah there's still a lot for me to learn um, and I feel like this the, you know challenges like this and stuff it kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone gets you to try things that maybe you would ordinarily like <laughs> avoid um, but you know with a, with a challenge you can't you know if you want to complete the challenge and I always do I like to complete challenges then yeah it, it forces you to to pay attention and to and to do it the way that people say to do it. So yeah, that is my plan, basically. Um, and as I say, we haven't officially kicked off, but I thought doing this challenge today, it probably makes sense to, or challenge this month, I should say, probably makes sense for me to do the things in the themes that I know I'm going to be working with. And that is, you know, Secret Garden, it's part Tim Holtz, I'll only do a couple in that because I've done most of the videos already. And it's, um, uh, well, eventually <laughs> it'll be Autumn and Christmas and those types of projects. Um, but I'm not ready to work on <laughs> Autumn or Christmas just yet. So out comes the Secret Garden florals. But as I say, it gives you a little bit of a sneak peek as to uh, what I hope to to have going on very soon. So I'm just bringing in some of my colours now, um, just so that I, mainly so I don't forget to include a bit of colour. I don't want it all to be music sheet and book page. Um, it's actually quite tricky to collage over such a busy background. Um, I'm just gonna get on with it <laughs> and uh, you know with these things they always work out in the end don't they and uh, it's only my background um, I'm not putting any 
the focal points down I'm just simply using pretty patterned papers, neutral patterned papers and different things and then when we come to do the next part of the challenge which is uh, to actually use the masterboard um, we will yeah, we'll, um, we'll figure it out then what we're gonna do as I say I do, do have an idea very straight piece so I'm just going to tear that in half so that I don't have quite such a big bit and then we can put that one there and I'll probably save that one for the other one because I'm going to try and get two two master boards done today and obviously I'm doing them on a, a 12 by 12 so <laughs> it is a uh, they are going to be big big master boards but as I say, I've got plans for what I want to use them for, so very exciting. So I hope you're all doing well. As I say, sorry, sorry, sorry for starting the video on a, um, a not so positive note. It's not normally how I like to do things, but as I say, at the end of the day, at the moment, right today, my mind is very frazzled. Um, and I just feel like I just need to yeah, get that out. <laughs> So that no one worries about me or um you know thinks oh what's going on here she's doing things very haphazardly today i mean i might be fine but um in case i wasn't i just wasn't sure what i was going to be like anyway enough about that i hope you're all doing well i hope you're having I hope you're all surviving the heat um i know obviously i'm filming these in advance so that comment might not make much sense now but at the time my thoughts are with anyone battling with this heat um, I'm hoping to just get a couple of videos done this morning and then I'm gonna have to oops, going to have to vacate this room because it's um oh it's hot already <laughs> it's hot already right that's um yeah it's really tricky to collage over this but it's a great way to you know use the the side of the paper that you like and to um, yeah, cover up the side you don't like. Um, I've done this many, many times using scrapbook paper for collaging on, doing a masterboard on. And uh, if we can use up a whole heap of our scraps in the process, then I don't know about you, but I always consider that to be a very, very, very good thing. Supposed to be cooling down today, um, but yeah, I don't know. Looking outside, it still looks very, very, very muggy. Right. So I'd love to know what projects you're all working on right now. Um, what are you all up to? So, I'm always interested to hear what people are working on, because um, obviously you see all mine. <laughs> And unless you share them in my Facebook group, I, I don't get to see yours. Um, so yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to know. We um, we've got our trip booked to Disneyland Paris. Um, we're going in October. Um. I think my husband might have gone when he was very, very young, so he doesn't really remember much about it. Um, but I've never been. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to do that. It's their 30-year 30, 30 anniversary this year. Um, so we figured, <laughs> if not this year, when, you know, type thing. I um, don't want to cover that, really. And uh, yeah, we um, yeah we're very very looking forward to it. It'll be our first trip abroad uh, since 2020. Um, because yeah, we used to we used to go to three or four places abroad every year, um, new places, you know. And um, obviously with everything that's been going on, um, we went to Croatia for my 30th birthday. Um, but this was before, um. 
my birthday's in August, but you know, the UK hadn't fully locked down for like they were opening up for travel. Like it, it, it seems strange, but 2020 was an easier time to travel than 2021. Um, so yeah, we um, we did that, we did Croatia, and then yeah, not been anywhere abroad since then. So, anywho, let's um. What else we got here? It's very hard to see like where I've got gaps actually with um with <laughs> with doing it on the uh, the scrapbooking paper, but um we'll manage. And I am bringing in some florals. Um, I'm not making them like fussy cut type images. They're just things that I've torn from books. Um, I call that fussy fussy tearing I don't know if that's a fussy torn image I don't know if that's what everyone says but that's what I call them and I just find that they're they're good for being in the background of your collages can be um just to bring in a yeah bit of bit of florals and all that so yeah my secret garden project as you might have guessed is inspired by the secret garden so it'll be lots of keys and gates and um, birds and butterflies and flowers and just yeah all the things that I love to work with um, I'm wrapping them up all into one uh, big project and it will be lots of lots of the colours that I like to work with so pinks and purples blues and greens yeah just <laughs> I don't know it's almost like a, a mix of everything that I've been doing and everything I like to do just all in one like big project I'm very excited about it, as you might have might have guessed. Um, but as I say, I want to get autumn and winter projects and Christmas projects done before I really focus on Secret Garden. But, as I say, when it comes to challenges and bits and bobs, um, there's no reason why I can't start on some of the ephemera now, just to build up my stash, ready for when I'm ready. Um, so yeah, very excited. I'm excited about this junk journal bingo. I hope I'm not the only one taking part. <laughs> um, it's all about completing, there's nine tasks to complete in the month um, and you can mix and match uh, between them. Um, so for example, uh, next time um, I'm going to be using my collage masterboard, which is a, um, which is a challenge on there. I don't know about you but I'm always guilty of making up my master boards and then just staring at them and um, hanging them up and not actually doing anything with them um, so that's that's one part of the challenge um, and then say maybe you want to use your master board to make some tags well that would complete another part of the challenge um, which is to to make a tag so yeah I've tried to make it that it's it's easy enough to complete all of the, the tasks and as I say when you start mixing matching it can make things really interesting because I suspect everyone's then going to do something different so that's what I'm hoping for anyway yeah go there Yeah, so as I say, today is just about getting the, the master boards done and next time we'll use them. So get your scraps out, <laughs> come join me and uh, let's, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some things made and uh, yeah, just have a bit of fun. I thought the, the bingo card was a, a fun idea. Um, <laughs> it might just be me, but I think it's fun. And, um, you know, just to, yeah. You can print it off and you can you know tick off as you go and so I thought well I'm excited for something like that so um, I thought I would do mine on video and you can tick them off with me and of course those of you who are not in the Facebook group or you know don't want to don't want to join us for whatever reason uh, you can still do the the, the, the bingo because um, obviously I'll be sharing with you the the, the tasks each week and what we're gonna 
what well, what I'm gonna tick off in the process. great thing about masterboards I find is you don't really need to put a huge amount of thought into them um, they just come together and of course you know if you get your scraps down don't think that that's going to be all you'll end up doing with them because um, once you start adding in your focal points and whatever you're gonna make the masterboard with even just cutting it down totally transforms what you see so I'm always trying to remind myself not to not to get too bogged down with um, what it looks like until yeah until I'm sort of finished I guess um, I'm looking for something just a little space but I suppose that's what little bits like that are for yep that'll do I'll just have a, a look around. Probably want to cover the spider a bit. Um, oh, I've got a gap there. As I say, it's, it's tricky because the background is um, got a bit going on. I don't quite like that. It's a tip if you're tearing paper and it's a thick paper if you tear it backwards so this way um it'll uh you won't get that 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 uh, like what big white border that you can sometimes get from tearing paper it's just um a little something i've picked up uh, i suspect somebody had um given the, the tip on YouTube. I think I'm getting through the scrap pile bit by bit. As I say, organising my scraps has been a big, big help. Um, I did that back in my Sort It Out Saturday challenge where I, <laughs> I painstakingly colour coordinated my scraps. Um, so when it comes to, you know, working on projects and things, it has been um, fast to get myself set up and organised. Although I have buried, <laughs> buried my scissors. There we go. All right, I'm just going to um, cut around the master board. So that's the back, it's this nice terracotta. Um, Cause that's another color I want to bring in to the project is earthy woods and like wood for the garden gate, you know, um, metallics for the key. And uh, I was thinking terracotta for, you know, terracotta plant pots or um, just to go with the earthy tones. So yeah, that's what uh, that's what the project is all about. Uh, this pa paper pad is Stamperia, as you might have seen from the, the front. Um, but I've got, I, I'm actually mixing and matching several different paper pads from different designers as well as digital kits. But as I say, I haven't done my intro video yet. So when I do, that's when I'll be showing the papers that I'm using, the kits that I'm using, etc. Um, but for now, this is just about getting the masterboard done. Okay, have I got it all covered? I believe so. Yeah, so as I say, it's just the first layer, um, but we're looking pretty already. Um, normally I go through and add like stickers or um, po like postage stamps or little things. I um, just want to, want to break up that music, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that there. Um, yeah, I um, normally I do that at this stage, but I am not going to. 
I might later, but for now I'm going to move on to the second one. Okay, just get that little bit that went over. Sometimes I find cutting the cutting around the outside just helps you to see what um yeah what the final look is like, which can impact what you do next. Oops. But that is the first layer. Yeah, there we are. That's that one. So let me pop it over there to dry, and let's bring in the second one. Um, once again, I've lost which way it's supposed to be. Doesn't really matter. I think it's that way. Okay. So, much the same. <laughs> so if you'd like to click off now, that's totally fine. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, carry on for anyone who would like to keep on watching. And I will attempt to find something to talk about, but as I say, <laughs> Oh, yeah, my brain is just a bit frazzled. But these are things that some of us have to deal with. Um, you know, it's like if you have you have a bad day at work and you're finished work and you just want to come on and do a bit of crafting. It's like, it's kind of like that. But unfortunately, my bad day was at night because I found that my website had gone down it had gone down yesterday afternoon, but I hadn't noticed until um, I was going to bed. So they didn't email anyone to let them know. Um, and I just happened to be on Twitter, and a, and a friend of mine had mentioned about it. And I thought, no, surely not. And yet, lo and behold, I was in affected. Um, and of course, I thought, oh, well, I'll go to bed, and then all will be fine in the morning, this morning. But no, still an issue. So, yeah, not good, but just got to get on with it. But um, I think I've said this a couple of times now, but it's so true. I'm, you know, in times like that, I'm just, what I go with is just that feeling of, well, how privileged am I that I can come on and have something like this to you know, to, to, to do, to focus on. If I didn't, I would just be staring at my laptop, refreshing, refreshing the screen until it came back, wouldn't I? So, you know, if you've had a bad day and, you know, you feel like you want to do that, that crafting because it's your stress reliever, then yeah, just, um, just remember how privileged you are that you have the opportunity to be able to do that. And I mean that from the perspective of not everyone has such a cool hobby you know some people will just sit there watching tv and then go to bed won't they um those of us who enjoy this hobby or even enjoy watching this hobby there's so much positivity and encouragement and support and love that you can get from this community and from yeah getting involved basically so um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's always what I want to say. It's just like, even if I'm having a bad day, I'm always thinking about, well, wh what are the ways that we can, you know, there's always things that we can be doing to remind ourselves of things that are, are not so bad. And, um, and, and, and that's, I know that's rich coming from me, but I, 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 you know, I suffered from depression uh, all through teenagerhood and um, it's not something I, I suffer with anymore but um, you know I am um, I uh, yeah I know basically <laughs> um, but yeah I go I go through life now just very much just thinking like well that you know that's the that's the bad news well what's the good news well look at me I'm able to put that to one side come and do this for a few hours and yeah try to forget about it but it's um it's not always so easy is it but uh, anyway <laughs> I promised I wouldn't talk about it very much but it's just because it's all it's on my on my mind isn't it um 
and uh, yeah if it if it offends anyone or you don't like to hear the negativity then I'm sorry but it's just yeah it's just what is on my mind and that's that but anyway enough about that because yeah I agree let's um I need more neutrals in this one don't I <laughs> I sort of ignored the neutrals um and yeah I've gotten really into doing neutral collaging because it's then just so easy to decorate up further whereas normally I'm all about the colour so my neutral scraps were being ignored um, but I've gotten, gotten into the habit now of really trying to use up my, my neutrals because um, yeah you can add so much more to them I'm just talking rubbish now, aren't I? <laughs> Half of you would have kicked off by now, I'm sure. Um, right, let's find something else to talk about. It's tricky, isn't it? It's sort of, um, it's in times like this that I wish someone could like pop up as like a live comment and say, you know, ask me a question or tell me something that I could then talk about. <laughs> about half an hour it's not too bad as I say this is all just about getting the um getting the the masterboards done and uh, yeah the next the next part next week we'll be actually using them and I'm hoping that because I'll be doing them once a week the challenges uh, for those who are following along um whether in the Facebook group or or just on here um that should give you enough time then as well if you want to to do the challenge to um, catch up and um, do your masterboard and then I mean you can make whatever you like with your masterboard but if you wanted some ideas and um, or wanted to see what I was going to do then it gives you the uh, the time to catch up and then and then see what I'm doing and then yeah moving on from there. So I've got the Tim Holtz project happening this month as well. Um, I know not, I know Tim Holtz is not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm doing Tim Holtz very much my way, um, which will either some of you will be happy about, others not so much. Um, but at the end of the day, my style is my style, and I'm, yeah, I'm doing it doing it my way. And uh, Caroline, if you're starting to burst into song right now, <laughs> I'm doing it my way, that song, who sings that, I'm not sure, then uh, I won't be surprised if it, because that song's just popped into my head. That's uh, Dream With Caroline. Um, she's always singing happy songs and talking about music. Yeah, right. This one is turning out very different from the first and I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it but I always tell myself to just keep on going um, because as I say you know we're gonna add we're gonna add to it aren't we getting a waft of that candle a strawberry scented one. My husband bought me a set of these candles and they come in this gorgeous tin. I'm not going to um, pick it up because it, it's metal so it'll be, it'll be warm. But yeah they were all lovely scents and they've got kind of like a Moroccan theme to the um, to the tins. So even when I haven't got them on they're really nice to just to look at, to have on display you know. So uh, yeah, it's definitely nice to have the candle candle burning. As I say, I don't normally have I have the candle on when I'm writing, um, but I don't normally have it on when I'm crafting because bits of paper flying everywhere. I don't I don't really trust myself and my clumsiness. But over there, it seems fine. Um, but admittedly, I have um, you know cleaned up my desk recently, so. <laughs> There's, there's room for it whilst I've got everything out whereas you know 
this time last week might not have actually had much room. I'm trying to get in the habit of uh, tidying up, organising, tidying everything uh, once per week um, on a Monday so that I'm like set for the the uh, the week ahead type thing. That's what I have been aiming to do. Nearly used all of these pink scraps which is amazing. Um, I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna cover that bird, and I'm getting stuck to the <laughs> I'm getting stuck to the plastic. How about this one, yeah. Lost it for a minute then. <laughs> yeah. I need to buy some more uh, some more glue sticks. So you don't realise how much you're gonna go through them really. So some really nice vintage wallpaper. Uh, somebody had covered up a like covered a vintage book with it and uh, you know, I bought the book, um, and uh, yeah, well, me being me, us being us, of course I took that wallpaper and used it for various, various things. Okay, um, I think we should probably bring in another piece of this then, as I'm, I'm talking about it. Yeah, I feel like I've done this collage in a very different way from usual. Normally I sort of like try to fill up my, my corners and then move into the middle, but this one I just seem to have been very sporadic about it. But I don't think that's a bad thing, um, because we can always add to them, and our master boards are just, yeah, all of our <laughs> scraps going down in however way we want. Um, and um, it builds into something. So yeah, I always say if you if you're not happy with your masterboard whilst you're working on it, it gets better. <laughs> Trust me, it gets better. Um, usually, sometimes not, but usually. Okay. Um, probably want a bit more neutral type stuff. Let's see about. I really want to cover that a little birdie. I've got this little bird stamp that I just did on some scraps of book page. Yeah. So yeah, I know this video is not the most exciting, but uh, needs must. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just sorry that I'm just feeling a bit out of sorts today. Um, I wasn't, you know, it was, it was actually supposed to be my blogging day today. I wasn't even going to be filming because um, I have set days in the week for things. Um, that just keeps me focused. Uh, my word for the year was balance. So, you know, the whole idea is that I, I have balance not only in work versus social life, uh, but also in terms of the different aspects of my business. So I found that, you know, if I was focusing so much on videos and projects, was I neglecting my blogging or was I focused so much on Etsy orders that I then wasn't listing on Etsy? Stuff like that. So I've worked really, really hard to sort out how I want things to be. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've got, you know, set days for things now, um, which has really helped me stay focused and stay balanced um, but it does mean yeah well when <laughs> my websites went down um, I was like well because my emails went down as well they're all tied to the same the same Google infrastructure so yeah kind of left me in a bit of a pickle as to um, what I was going to do so I just thought oh well I might as well you know, come on and just swap the days and 
get my videos done that I was going to do tomorrow, today. Um, and uh, do my blogging tomorrow instead. And then come back on Friday and do, you know, the rest of my filming. Gosh, 40 minutes. Hurry up, Justine. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I'm carrying on. It's like, it's one of those things most people would have clicked off by now. Um, and that's fine. You know, this isn't going to be for everyone. Um, so I'm just going to carry on. And for those of you who are still here, I'm still here. Yeah, I feel like this Beatrix Potter image is probably more of a focal point. And I've used that too much. So that's, can't really do much more with those. I want something else, I think. I want like more like different typographies or something. I have used a lot of stuff up in my collaging recently. I just really like mixing and matching different text and stuff. I do have this. I didn't really use my tear ruler. My Only the, only the first layer. But yeah, well um, I think it's just because I'm yeah I'm just my mind is a bit frazzled today. one I might add something else to it uh, just to liven it up a bit I just feel it's a bit um I don't know it's the right word flat it's just sort of a bit um it's missing something well they're both missing something in, in technical terms because they're just the first layers but there we are. Uh, so I've got a bit here and a big bit there. So what we got? Um, oh, that's cool. Let's do that. Oh, isn't tearing paper? It's like very therapeutic, I find. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, having a bad day. Just tear some paper, get your frustration out on the paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. And hmm. something for here. Might just take a little piece of this, maybe. Just to... No, it sort of conflicts with that. So it wants to be in that'll do. Yep, that will do fine. Yeah. Gosh, 45 minutes of collaging. So, um, I mean I know they're 12 by 12, so it's a big collage. Oh, and that bit. Um oh can I use that? around it because as I say it does help me to see like you know see see the final thing and what's missing and how to take it from there so I've got quite a lot of overhang on this one so just excuse me whilst I trim up uh, this paper I'm trying to think of what the brand is I can't I can't quite remember actually I can't remember. I think it's like, is it Maggie Holmes? Could be. Uh, 
it had like uh oh i know what the paper pad was it was like all um i had gold gilded papers in it some of them i think i saw teal and tattered using it and i uh yeah i bought the pad for the for the gold element but it's got all these nice pinks and greens and florals and stuff I will um I'll link the pads down below or I'll you know write the names of them down below in case you want to check them out the ones that I'm using and the kits of course but not too shabby definitely missing something there but obviously we haven't added any focal elements yet but I'm just thinking to do with breaking up I use that a lot I could do with a little bit more colour. I'm just going to just have a quick peek in the scrap box because there might be something from the other piles. I've got a blue pile here and I am using some blues in the project. I'm just thinking I just keep all of my scraps in an A4 plastic folder and uh, I've got them all colour coded grouped together by the colours that I use and neutral scraps versus blues and, and greens and what have you and uh, yeah it's definitely definitely working for me I'm just thinking this not the Cinderella image as such just thinking of just bringing that in and then so that it's even I'll bring in another piece of it somewhere else It is hard to tell yourself you're going to cut this down, so try not to look at it as a whole until you've done so, but I can't help it. <laughs> I'm looking at it thinking it ain't finished. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty. It's from a, um, uh, like a, I think it's a wedding anniversary card. I had a bundle of vintage cards from eBay oh, a long time ago when I was first, um, first getting into junk journaling. I still have a load of them. Okay. Right. Gosh, 50 minutes. Sorry about the, the length of video this has been, but um, these are two big, big master boards. So we've got this one, which has more of a, the pale pink side of the project. Obviously, as I mentioned, these are only the first layers. And then we have this one, which is the brighter side of the project, which, yeah, I will definitely cut this one down a lot, a lot, because I'm not so happy with... It looks a little bit uneven, but, um, but we'll get there. As I say, this is only the first step. So this is, um, yes, this is for the Junk Journal Bingo, is to get your, your master boards completed. So as I say, I'm doing on mine on 12 by 12s with uh, decorating up the side that I'm not such a big fan of. Um, and then in the next video, we'll do something with these. I have a cool idea for a pocket. I don't want to spoil it. Um, but as I mentioned, it is using something like this. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll do that on the next video. Um, so that will be next week because um, we're doing this challenge. Oh God, look at my fingers. <laughs> We're, um, we're doing this challenge in between um, the Tim Holtz. So um, yeah, get your masterboards done, uh, however you want to do them. And uh, stay tuned for how I want to use them next time. Of course, you can make anything you like with your masterboards once you've made them up. Cut them down into tags, make pockets with them, make little notebooks or journal covers, all sorts. But I have an idea for a couple of things, one being um, some kind of pocket. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. 
again thanks so much for joining me I'm sorry if my brain was a bit frazzled but you know that's just what I'm dealing with today and um yeah thanks for being there all right speak soon everyone my well wishes are with you bye bye for now